What's up guys, this is Sergio here. Welcome to the Sergio Show. And here today, once again, my good friend, Benjo Capital Master, the yeah. NFT King. Welcome, my friend. How are you, bro? It's very nice to meet you again. It's been so long and I've missed you. You are amazing. Welcome back. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased that you invited me here in your show again. And let's go. Of course, bro. Anyway, bro, anytime, you know, bro, I miss you so much. I gotta represent, bro, every time, man. We'll meet soon, bro. Such a good friend and such a pleasure to have you here again, bro. My fans love you, absolutely. Bro, so, I'm ready to spread the knowledge, bro. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, bro, let's go. All right, so now let's start with the super chat. All right, we got a super chat from Jacob. Uh, thank you, Jacob. He sent me uh, $20 in the super chat and his question is, Guys, how to become rich like you? I'm 26 years old, a breadwinner, and my dad is sick. My mom is selling cookies and I'm paying all the bills at home. So, what's your advice for Jacob, bro? I'll go first, all right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So, for me, bro, Jacob, this is solid advice. You gotta listen to this. You are 26 years old, you're a breadwinner, your dad is sick, you don't have someone to help you financially what will you do first is manage your finance what will you do now and what will you do to increase your income because if you are a breadwinner and maybe you have a brother or sister and uh, you are uh, taking care of the whole family and you your income is just enough to feed them bro how will you level up you need to find new sources of income learn nft flipping if you enrolled already in my course here, Sergio, my friend, one of the best in NFT flipping. He's a great guy. He knows NFTs. You try it. If you can master NFT flipping, if you can leverage your income through NFTs and help your family, that's a nice move. What are your thoughts, my friend? Bro, that's that's exactly it. Like, Jacob, if you right now cannot manage to find a new job, a new position, that means you need a new skill. You need to do something different and a very 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 useful skill that people are making lots and lots of money in this new generation is exactly what my friend told you nfts nft flipping is this is the new era so if you manage to develop a skill you know to flip nft to to get in the crypto world you're gonna get that extra leverage that you need to get out of that situation that's that's my thoughts bro Bro, I appreciate the super chat, uh, Jacob, my friend. So thank you so much. Next question, thank you, my Jacob. friend. Let's move on. All right. All right. Last question. We have Mark over here. He sent. Um, wait, let me load it. All right. We have a question from Mark. He sent one hundred dollars in the super chat. Uh, thank you so much, Mark, for the support. Thank you so much, Mark. One hundred. Wow, one hundred bucks. Thanks, bro. Mark got the bags, bro. Mark, Mark got the bag, bro. We got his shit together, so, bro mark yeah bro yeah he knows what he's doing bro uh -huh. so so, so all right so his mark is asking how do you deal with depression i've been really sick with my life i've been on my purpose 24 7 and nothing good happens even though i'm making money i feel being empty oh that's a tough spot bro that's a nice question bro you want to go first and answer this bro yeah yeah of all course right. of course all right, all right all right so mark first of all uh it's a it's a thing that we how that we all 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 have to put in our minds uh having money doesn't mean happiness of course it's a part of happiness and it helps you a lot to feel fulfilled with your life but just having money it's not happiness it's impossible and successful people are people that are fulfilled with themselves they are complete in every way of their lives uh, if you're the, if you have depression depression is a serious condition uh, that's a thing you need to sort out before you even care about anything else you know prioritize yourself and then your family and then you prioritize you know uh, making money and being successful first you need to get along with yourself uh, depression is a very very serious thing and i really really hope you can manage to continue to focus on your purpose and to you know defeat depression and start making money and if you're flipping we me and danjo we are here you know giving tips uh giving the courses so you guys can you know get uh, your financial freedom and 
be happy just live life being happy that's our main purpose that's that's my thought bro. right but uh for me bro like yeah money cannot make you really happy but it can solve almost all your problems bro so being financially free and uh for me your issue bro is like this if you're depressed with your life probably you're not struggling just financially but also socially so uh, i would take weekends off my my schedule to socialize with people with friends and i don't work in the weekends you won't see me working in the weekends because i prioritize my social life which will help you cope your depression as well so hopefully that helps you as well because if you are just making money you're too focused on business building a skill which is nice for you and your future your family because being financially stable is a huge leverage in life but remember you gotta stay socially you you gotta stay socializing with other people because it's an important factor to consider as well for your mental health and for your development that's my thoughts bro thanks for the super chat mark yeah mark thank you so much 100 dollars. this guy know what he's doing and i really hope yeah. we can get out of that situation bro yeah bro thanks a lot bro all right all right who's next bro? all right next. Are awesome. Are awesome. all right next one we got a super chat from ellie ellie sent 58 dollars all right 58 uh, oh it's a lucky number bro 58 it's a lucky number <laughs> for sure for sure for sure so uh the question is which is better to invest nfts or real estate also does your cars you're driving determine your status in life mm, good question bro. oh this is a nice question bro i want you to go first on this all one, right bro. I'm all right bro. all right bro. so so for me i'm gonna spit real facts here you know there's yeah, what yeah. you call two answers in questioning one is the politician answer one is the straight man answer and i'll give you the straight man answer no bs so yeah. nfts is better for the short term when you're talking about making money for the short term i mean hundred thousand dollars or more six figures or more nfts is the best way to go short term but when it comes to gold assets of course you can own real assets in nfts but real estate is on a different level when it comes to long term that's why billionaires and multi-millionaires invest in real estate but also the new new money bro people who just got rich now are mostly from crypto nfts it's because it's fast money it's quick money so if you want to be a millionaire fast invest in nfts learn from us sergio and i will help you in advancing your skills next question is about the cars right bro so what what was the question again is about uh does it determine your status or yeah so the question is yeah exactly the cars you're driving determine your status in life yeah yeah absolutely bro i i drive fast cars so most of the time people will judge you based on what you drive it's sad to say but it's the reality bro if they see you driving a rolls royce a mercedes benz a s class i'm not talking about the cheap mercedes i'm not talking about the a class i'm talking about the s 650 you know with the s it's a s class amg those big boys and uh yeah rolls royce lamborghini ferrari those are on a different tax bracket bro you can be a lawyer you can be a doctor and afford that but most likely not bro even if you're a lawyer doctor you cannot probably afford that because it's a lot of money so either you are a ceo a businessman a top tier politician to afford those kind of cars and uh or you invest in nfts crypto and uh, you stack it up you know you reinvest your earnings and you earn those cars so if you want to have the biggest status in life try to buy those cars also if you cannot afford those top tier cars try with bmw you know there's they have still cool cars uh lexus you know reliability which is good what are your thoughts bro i want to hear about your thoughts from the and and of the king bro sergio the legend all right all right bro thank you bro thank you for the compliment i mean uh it, that's 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 really true what you said uh i think uh we as humans we have a, a thing that is very important to have which is the perceived value uh, when you walk up in, into a room with a suit people will automatically give you more value than if you go there with you know baggy clothes or flip-flops that's an that's a natural thing biological you know we we give perceived value so if you have if you drive nice cars people will treat you better that's the way it works so 
we, we gotta start from there. Uh, of course, if you drive not car, that means status. Most of the times, I mean, 99% of the times. So for me, it's a yes. The cars you're driving determine uh, your status in life. Uh, all right, so uh, regarding NFTs or real estate, uh, I mean, uh, I'm kind of biased. Uh, NFTs for me is literally the best investment uh, in, in the world. Uh, there is no such thing as NFTs. I mean, real estate, uh, don't, don't get me wrong, real estate is, for me, it's top two. Uh, real estate, uh, I, I, I already started buying some properties, but NFT uh, is top top one. Uh, and I got a question for you, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. What 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 do you prefer? What would you, would you rather having a board ape for, let's say, uh, half a million uh, half a million dollars, or own uh, a, a same value property in, let's say, in Florida? What would you choose, bro? Honestly, I'll, I'll go with the NFT because NFT is easily you can sell it easily. So. The liquidity is there, bro. The how about yeah. you? Will you choose the property? Of course not. Uh, of All course, right. I'll choose the NFT because uh, uh, we have many reasons. And for me, like one of the top reasons is, bro, uh, you don't have to, you know, get a t tenant. You don't have to uh, do property management. You don't have to worry about nothing. It's it's way more simple. It's all digital. People have this false sense of security. They they believe. It's in the real world, uh, it's safe. But actually, no, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, but you just get less work in the, in the digital world, you know? So for me, it's the same re reliability. So, you know, it's just advantages, bro. NFT is just life, bro. Life is yeah. all about NFT, bro. Yeah, yeah, it is, bro. All right, thanks for the super chat, bro. Thanks for the super chat. Who's Thank next? you so much, uh, Ali. Thank you so much. Uh, and let's get to the next question. Uh, all right. So now we have Marcus. Marcus just sent $30 on the Super Chat. Thank you Thank so you, much, Marcus, Marcus, for the support. Amazing. And Marcus is asking, how to live a happy life where I can go and do whatever I want and whenever I want. I want to be like you, Danjo, uh, and Sergio, of course. So. Uh, you go first, Marcus. bro. You go first about this. Uh, yeah, 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 of course, of course. I can go first. All right. all right, so, I mean, for me, to to have a happy life, first of all, you you have to find your purpose. You have mm -hmm. to find your purpose in life. You have to feel like you're, mo you're moving towards something. You're not just living through life. You're living life, you know? Uh, life, life should not be long. Life should be great. Uh, people get it wrong. Uh, and it's all about, you know, for me, the first thing, you know, besides time, uh, time is the most important thing, but you know, uh, after time, the, the best thing in life you can have, you know, for your happiness, money, everything is connections, uh, your network, go, go out there, meet some people, people with high value, uh, smart people. Th there's a lot of people in the world. You just got to choose the right people. And for me, that's one of the key points to have a successful and happy life. Get a get a, uh, a good network, people that will help you, that will cheer you up, that you can go in the clubs. Uh, for me, me and Danjo, Danjo is my best friend because we can talk about business, we can talk about girls, we can go to clubs, we can go to the fucking library and still have fun. You know, right? Uh, it's all about connections. It's all about for me, it's connections. All right, that that's my answer. Nothing beats connections, bro. That's very amazing. Yeah. What you said is very amazing. Actually, to live a happy life, you need to be contented. Bro, I'm going to ask you, uh, how much should you earn to be contented in life? You're saying on a monthly basis or, or yearly basis? Uh, monthly basis, bro. Like passive income from your passive, uh, from your rental properties, NFTs. How much to, to be happy, bro? Like, what, what do you think? All right. For... Uh, for me to feel content yeah. nowadays, passively, I would say, like, I mean, 100% passive, I would say at least, at least a quarter uh, of a million, you know, uh, 250K. Yeah. That's, that's minimum for me. I would feel content, you know, but we as uh, humans, uh, as humans, we always want more. But right. if you ask me now, mm -hmm. like, like you did, like right now, uh, for me, uh, 250K is... I feel content with that, like passive. Yeah, and there's a study about that as well. I, I will not uh, input any journal facts here, but there's a study that says 
the more you want some the more you the more richer you become the more you want something and you want things that you can't have so basically the more that you become richer the more you want more things and you have to control it bro i'm telling you to live a happy life you need to be contented set a standard set a goal just like what sergio said monthly this is what you want so never look at your friends who are bowling traveling every day and be jealous of them focus on yourself do not gossip bro do not gossip about other people always focus on yourself and you will live a happy life of abundance make sure you socialize make sure you have time to meet new people that's why i travel that's why i always travel because i want to meet new people new connections new friends and it's an investment on myself that's it bro all right bro thanks for the super chat bro thanks for the thank you so much bro thank you so much uh all right next question we have right now uh Imram, um, he sent sixty dollars. Thank you so much, bro, uh, for the support, guys. You guys are amazing. And he, his question is: What was your greatest fear in life, and how to deal with losing someone you love? Damn, bro! Oh, losing someone you love, huh? Oh, bro, bro, I'll I'll go first here because my dad had, had a cancer, so it, it takes. There's a saying that it takes uh, a lot of balls for a man to to say his greatest fear in life, and I'm gonna say it today. So for me, my greatest fear is to lose my dad because uh, he's a very amazing person. He taught me everything I, I need to learn in life. He taught me how to be like me now and to have great connections, friends, people that I love, you know. And uh, to deal with losing someone you love, you just have to accept it, you know. There's no other way, bro. It's all about acceptance. It's all about just just accepting the things how they are, you know. You cannot do anything. How about you, bro? I want to hear the Sergio advice, bro. Yeah, bro. So, bro, the, this, the whole situation with your father is super tough bro i i can i can even imagine like what, what you guys been through with your family uh but i'm glad he's doing fine for now um that you, you guys are having moments still that's that's great bro that's great life is great bro and while it lasts it should be lived um but you know uh, one of my greatest fears in life um it was you know fear of failure bro just failure you know right. to be a failure uh, i think that's a, a very common fear in general um and and yeah and that's the thing that we all have to fight against you know uh we all have this uh fear of risk uh of getting into things and that's just holding you back you're not gonna die if you risk you're not gonna die if you decide to invest in yourself by by a course by a course you're gonna die no of course not oh. people are always afraid It's an investment. Invest in you. So that's that was one of my greatest fears. Uh, I'm I'm still fighting with it, but you know. How do you deal with it, bro? I mean, bro. Uh, right now, I'm I'm pretty chill about that. Uh, if you ask me a fear that I have, like now, I, I would say, bro, 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 probably, probably losing lo losing. You know, people I love, uh, someone someone I love. That's that's a fear and. Just like you said, it's something we we have to deal with. We just have to accept that we are not here forever. People are not here forever. Our family, our dads, our our moms, uh, and we just gotta deal with it. You know, uh, me and Danjo, we have you know this connection. We are you know best friends and all. And I know this guy won't be here forever. He knows I won't be here forever. And it's all about you know while it lasts, let's make it last. You know, let's live life and. Just gotta deal with it. Just gotta just like Danger say, you gotta deal with it. And right. how to deal with, with losing someone you love? It's just like you said, bro. It's all about acceptance, bro. It's tough, but it's life. And it has a beginning and it has an end. That's it, bro. It's how it works. That's very amazing, bro. That's an amazing story. So next bro we're gonna move uh i think uh we need to cut this off right now because we will still have a meeting on another nft project later so last question bro you can get uh, yeah we got we got five minutes we can go we can go last one all right, all right. All right let me see let me grab one here all right we have one from daniel daniel just sent 60 dollars on the super chat bro appreciate thank it. you bro thank you daniel appreciate it bro 
All right. Uh, he's asking how to make sure your employees and your loved ones remain loyal to you. Mm, yeah, that's a good one, bro. Bro, that's a good one. So that's, that's a good one. All right. So what, what's your thoughts, bro? What's your thoughts about this, bro? For me, first of all, uh, loyalty. First of all, you gotta be loyal to them, mm -hmm. and and if you're loyal to them, if you're loyal to other people, you gotta be loyal to you, to yourself. So if you say to yourself, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up every day and I'm gonna do 10 pushups," if you if you do that, promise yourself, you gotta keep that promise. You gotta be loyal to you. If you can be loyal with you uh, in the small things, how can you be loyal with someone? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, th it's all about it's all about being loyal to yourself and. After that, you know, just be a leader. Just be a leader. Le leadership, you know. Know how to motivate people. Know how to be generous. How to give other people things that you didn't have. Things that people didn't give you. You know, if you received anger and, and, and all that shit, bro, give love to people. You know, uh, it's all about it's all about that, bro. That's how you. It's it's like a seed, bro. You gotta wait for it grow. Uh, you can just uh uh now you're my friend you're loyal no bro it takes time it takes time it takes life it's all about life bro and it, same thing with family just because it's your parents it doesn't mean you know, it's loyal to you uh, it most certainly is but it's not guaranteed you know uh and it's all about that bro it's all about that um i i there there's a there's a say that it's very interesting uh which says um It, it, it goes like this uh blood makes parents yeah. and loyalty makes family mm, right so it's all about that it's all about that it's about the loyalty loyalty builds family a true family just because you're the same blood doesn't mean you're necessarily family it can be you know treason and all that right. loyalty loyalty builds family that's right. very interesting yeah. and that's a very powerful thing that's bro that's my thoughts bro everything you said is so powerful you gotta listen to that what was the guy name again dan i think it's daniel or dan uh yeah yeah daniel yeah, we daniel. have the same name bro this guy will yeah. be a fucking chad soon bro all right, all right. <laughs> for sure, so, bro. so for me bro loyalty is all about uh being loyal to them as well so if you want other people to be loyal to you you gotta show them how, bro. You gotta you. You don't want other people to disrespect you as well, you know. Because respect comes loyalty, bro. And uh, just like what you said, like with employees as well. If you're managing a company, if you have your own company, you have to treat them like your family. You you. There's a story that uh, that happened uh, me in Dubai, right? So I was with my girlfriend and. Uh, there's this cab driver and this rich guy is, is shouting to his driver, bro. I don't know the full context, but I don't want to tell the whole story. But just to give you an yeah. idea, bro, he's treating his driver like shit, bro. Like, go there. I get it. And I was like, fuck this shit, bro. Like, if this guy did this to me, bro, I'll, I'll beat the shit up. Even, you know, even if he's yeah. rich or what. But, bro, you, you don't want to treat other people like that even if it's just a driver bro i'm buying my driver a steak bro like if we're gonna eat on a steakhouse i'm buying my driver a steak that's how i saw that bro. yeah yeah bro because you know they are they're humans bro you shouldn't yeah them like animals and shit bro like they're humans too and i treat the ceo the same way i treat the janitor so always stay respectful to others and they will see it bro as long as uh you, you you don't uh let other people take advantage of you you know they will respect you and they'll remain loyal to you and for the people you love and bro i have a girlfriend bro and i was i am always loyal to her bro you know so yeah. I, I i don't uh, talk to other girls you know uh, even if we talk bro talk you know it's just pure business so that's yeah. one way to to make other people loyal to you is just do the same thing your words is just amazing bro so that's it. That's it, bro. We cut the shit, bro. That that's very that's it, bro. value, bro. Thanks for the super chat, bro. We are really appreciated. Uh, and also, really appreciate it. we hope that uh, the value that you learned on this on this amazing duo with my best friend, bro, you learned a lot, and it's probably worth it for you. 
soon we will have more collab especially for our vip members so those who enrolled already thatjocapitalmaster.com guys it's only 200 you will learn everything about nfts If you want to learn how to make money in NFT six figures or more, and you want to live the life of abundance, you don't have to worry about the next bill, the next water bill. You want to buy your dream car or you want to travel wherever you want with whomever you want. It's time to pay the price today so you can pay any price tomorrow. Guys, sign up now. DanjoCapitalMaster.com The link will be on the description below. We'll see you there. Sergio, thank you so much, bro, for inviting me in this amazing channel of yours. Your podcast is nice. Great following. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Of course, bro. Of course, bro. You are brother to me. And always, thank you so much for your words, for your knowledge. My fans always appreciate it. Uh, it's when I get the more donations. It's when you come to life, bro. When you come here in my life, bro. So that's it, bro. Thank you so much. And we got a meeting right after. So yeah, yeah, yeah. let's get to work. And thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. And Stay tuned. Uh, enroll for the course, bro. It's really, it's a really nice course. Just, it's a really, really, really powerful course. It can change your life. And that's it, guys. Stay, stay healthy. Stay rich. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Let's go, chat. See you, bro.